Hi friends, let us solve a network theory related question asked in gate 2012 EEEE paper. The question is, assuming both voltage sources are in phase, the value of R for which maximum power transferred from circuit A to circuit B. So, from here to here, the power is transferred. What is the maximum power transfer? For that, we have to find what is R value. Right? So, we can consider this is a load, but it is complex in nature. So, I will replace with a simple network. So, circuit B is a load. I assume it is a load. So, I, I convert into simple network by using Thevenin's equivalent. First, because it has only one voltage source and a current source. If I have only voltage source and current source, it is easy for me to understand what is the maximum power is transferred. Okay. So, what I do, I find Thevenin's equivalent of circuit B. So, circuit B is like this. This is what my circuit B B volt. Right? This is R, this is my A volt omega. So first what we have to find. So across this we have to find the Thevenin's equivalent. V Thevenin and R Thevenin. Okay. V Thevenin, how can we find V Thevenin is open circuit voltage? So V Thevenin is nothing but VOC. So I find open circuit voltage. So this is minus J1 ohm here 3 volt right since it is 3 volt these two are in parallel in parallel voltage same so here also voltage across capacitor is 3 volt right here R right so here current is 0 so because it is VOC V Thevenin is nothing but VOC so current is 0 so drop is 0. So, what is the V Thevenin? V Thevenin is 3 volt. Okay. Next, we find R Thevenin. R Thevenin is. So, whenever you want to find R Thevenin, what we have to do? We have to remove the source. It is a voltage source. Across this only we have to find. So, this is R. This will be there. Okay. Minus J1 ohm. Voltage source remove. If you remove the voltage source from the circuit, it will become short. Across this, I have to find R Thevenin. So, what is R Thevenin? So, this is short, this is short. So, R Thevenin is equal to only R. So, this implies R Thevenin is equal to R. So, what is the equivalent circuit? It has one R Thevenin's equivalent. Thevenin's equivalent is this is R, this is 3 volt. So, load I can replace with the simple circuit like this. Right? So, now I can redraw the given circuit. Circuit A will be like this. Circuit B I can replace with the thermonic. So, it is 10 volt to 2 ohm. Okay. So, this is uh, 10 volt. The, now, the circuit becomes like this 10 volt 2 ohm. Fine. Next, uh, next side I replace with the Thevenin equivalent. This is R three volt, right? Okay. Now I have to find what is when maximum power transferred to the load. What is the value of R? That is what my aim. Okay. Now we will do. So let us assume current through the circuit is I. So, uh, why I am finding this? Let me tell you. So, if I, okay, let us first find I. I is equal to what? I is equal to 10 minus 3 V by R. So, potential difference 10 minus 3 divided by R. 2 plus R. Okay. So, this is load side, sorry, source side, load side. So, what is the maximum power delivered to the load? Maximum power delivered. Okay. Just power delivered to the load. Power delivered to the load. Right? Power delivered to resistor and power delivered to voltage source. So P is equal to power delivered to resistor is I squared into R. I is nothing but 10 minus 3, that is 7 square. 7 by 2 plus R square. I squared into R plus 7 by 2 plus R into V. This is I squared R. This is V into I. 
V is 3 volt, I is 7 by 2 plus R. So, what is maximum power delivered? Maximum power delivered we know. Maximum power delivered is V1 by dP by dR is equal to 0 as per maximum power transfer theorem. So, I find dP by dR. So, dP by dR is equal to, so I take 2 plus R. First, I find, I simplify this, then I find dP by dR. P is equal to 2 plus R square. This is 7 square R plus 7 into 321 into 2 plus R. Fine. So it will be 49 R plus 21 R. So it will be 70 R plus 2 into 21, 42 divided by 2 plus R square. This is P. So, as per maximum power transfer theorem, maximum power is delivered when dP by dr is equal to 0. So, now I find dP by dr and equate it to 0. dP by dr uh, 2 plus R square. Sorry, V du, V u by V formula 2 plus R whole power 4. I differentiate is 2 plus R square into 70 minus. Uh, 70R plus 42 into 2 into 2 plus R. That must be equal to 0. So, what will happen? This implies 2 plus R. I take this one will come here. So, it will become 0. So, I take 2 plus R outside. So, it is 2 plus R into 70 minus 70R plus 42 into 2 equal to 0. Right? Next. So, what will happen? So, 2 plus R will become 0. R is equal to minus 2. This one indicates R, R is equal to minus 2. R cannot be negative. So, this is wrong answer. Next, I equate this one into 0. Either 2 plus R must be equal to 0. From that, I will find this or this one will be equal to 0. So, 2 plus r into 70 equal to, this is 140 plus 82, 84. So, 140 r plus 84. So, it is 140 plus 70 r is equal to 140 r plus 84. So, it will become 70 r is equal to 56. R is equal to 0.8 ohm. Right? So, where is the answer? We will see. R is equal to 0.8 ohm is there. Wait for the answer. Okay. Option S. Yes, option A is there. It is having R is equal to 0.8 ohm. So, option A is the right answer. Thank you.